All right, let's talk about George Karloftis and the uh, Kansas City Chiefs here, second-year player uh, who's won two Super Bowls now. Pretty good start to his career, uh, and he was awesome in this game. He did a lot of really good stuff for the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm going to start off with this play. So you see where he is on the screen. Don't worry. Uh, it's zoomed out. It will get uh, closer to where he is in a second. But what he's going to do at the line isn't really actually that important when we're talking about this play. Watch how one this play begins. You see, he kind of gets blocked out of the way there by Kittle. So, okay, not ideal. You can block out of the way. But that's not why I'm bringing this up, to show that he can, you know, get blocked out of the way uh, on a specific play. Because, again, a lot of that comes into scheme and, you know, uh, what, he was, what he was expecting at the line, all that kind of stuff. Here is where things get interesting. So, this is going to be the play where McCaffrey fumbled. And you see Karloftis. It would be very easy for him to kind of give up on this play. And I wouldn't really consider that to be what he's doing. Watch as he kind of just, you know, he keeps focused and he is the first one to see that football. He dove on it really well. I mean, really good job diving on the football. Like, listen, is that luck? Yeah, that's luck. I mean, he got blocked out of the way uh, just because he happened to be still looking at the running back and the ball popped out in his direction. He was able to have the opportunity to get the fumble. But, you know, getting the opportunity for a fumble is luck based. You, you know, taking advantage of that opportunity and actually recovering the fumble is not luck based. That is skill based. And he did a great job of falling on the ball right there so that was obviously his biggest highlight of the night but he had many many other good plays something like this is worth mentioning because one of the things that the Chiefs in general did a great job at this but part of it was uh Carl Loftus were you know if circle where Carl Loftus is on the field you see that they're gonna you know what are they gonna do are they gonna hand the ball off or are they gonna give the ball to Debo Samuel well that's kind of the question that they you're always asking yourself when you're playing the 49ers there's so much based on confusion and on getting you to think they're doing one thing and doing something else, or just getting you to not be sure exactly what they're doing in the first place. So when this play begins, Carl Office plays the handoff. This is, again, early on in the game, but it's actually going to be a flip to uh, Samuel. Again, not the ideal, uh, most ideal play, and it's kind of funny how the first couple plays I'm showing are not necessarily his highlights, but trust me, we'll get to those in a second. But okay, this one he got a little bit fooled on. Fair enough, it's the 49ers, it's Shanahan, who doesn't? But again, it's... Finding a way to still impact the play, which is so important. Watch as he then, you know, goes forward. He realizes what's happening and is able to still get down the, the field and make the tackle. He actually got credit for the tackle on that play. Obviously, his teammates helping out were, to, you know, a real benefit to that. Like guys like Nick Bolton getting down there, but Carl Loftus being able to still again, stay motivated and, uh, you know, still hustle down there was a really key play. And also. He started to get better at this stuff. Something like this, where what's going to happen is it's a first down and 10. So, okay, f you know, uh, similar situation of is it going to be a handoff? Is it going to be, uh, you know, are they going to give it to Debo Samuel? What's going to happen? Once again, he is unblocked at the line. Once again, he kind of, you know, uh, looks in one way, looks towards where the fake is. But you see him right now. It seems like he already realizes, oh, this is actually going to be a, you know, they're going to flip it to McCaffrey on this play. I have to get down there instead. And again, watch him have the acceleration to get down there. He was the one who made the tackle on that one. Chanel was in the area, but uh, you know, Carl, the tackle's not made without Carl Loftus being able to get down there. So really good stuff from him. And again, when you're doing this, that's a big part of how they were able to uh, stop the running game a lot, or at least slow down the running game. The running game had its moments, right? But you know, it was under four yards per carry in this one. If you can do that against San Francisco, that's pretty good. And while yes, part of it is being able to tackle McCaffrey and all of that stuff, a big part of it too is against the Shanahan scheme, just knowing where you're supposed to be, knowing where you have to be and getting in position to make a play. And that's what Carl Loftus was able to do on these plays. Also in the, uh, you know, pass rush game, because we knew going into this game, we kind of talked about uh, one of the previews, uh, one of the biggest things to talk about heading into this game was, you know, how would a guy like Carl Loftus do against Colton McKibbitz? Not the greatest right tackle in the world, but again, one of the things San Francisco does is they run a lot of, you know, they run a lot, so they run play actions. You're not ever exactly sure what the play is going to be, you know, before it is snapped. Although in a situation like this, it's a little bit easier, right? Because it's a third down and eight. So when Carl Loftus, you know, starts this play, you see right here, he's going towards the outside. That's where he's going to try and get. He's going to try to, you know, he has his, it's a little bit hard to see here, but he has his left hand kind of on McKibbitz's right, almost like his rib area. That's kind of where his hand is at. He's going to try to get towards the outside that way. Okay, that's his move. Let's see how well it works out. Well, it works out really well. He's able to get past, uh, you know, McKibbitz. He's right towards Purdy. So 
already this is a win, right? Already what Carl Loftus has done on this play is a good job. You know, he disrupted the play on a third down. So even if, you know, uh, Purdy runs up and he ends up rushing and picking up the first down or whatever, you still look at that and say, well, good play by Carl Loftus. You know, Purdy made a good play on his own. What are you going to do? But this play is not over. And let's be honest, it's the Super Bowl. Your job at this point is not to just do your job. You got to just find any way to make a positive impact. So Karloff is certainly not going to be giving up uh, right here. Watch as while Purdy runs up, there is you know pressure, so he can't just run straight forward. Carl Loftus is there to help create that sack. I believe he got credit for half a sack on that play. So again, wasn't the only guy to contribute, but it's football and it's a defensive lineman. You're never going to be the only guy who's contributing. There's always going to be other players who have an impact. And you know, in this scenario, yes, he had other people make an impact, but make no mistake about it, he was the key guy on this play. He was the one who had a, a huge role in how this play worked. And also just stuff like this too. Again, things that don't, I guess, can kind of make the stat sheet depends on which stats you're looking at, I suppose. Are you looking at pressures or in quarterback hurries and stuff like that? Or are you just looking at, uh, you know, did you get a tackle or a sack? Something like this isn't a tackle or a sack, but it's still a very important play. Again, working one-on-one against uh, Colton McKivitz. Well, let's see how it works out. Purdy takes the snap. Uh, you know, you see McKivitz right here. Seems to be in an okay position, but there's now a window to move towards the inside. The issue, of course, is that the guard is also getting over there. So if Carl Loftus is going to do this, he has to get there in a hurry. Watch him get there right before the guard does. The guard whiffs on it, and Purdy, who got hit, throws it a bit low and I still would sit here and say that Debo should have caught that football for sure. It's just a drop by Debo. But at the same time, it was a more difficult throw because of the pressure that uh, Carl Loftus brought to the table. And he had a good number of plays like that through the course of this game. So, yeah, I mean, Carl Loftus... Definitely, it's one of those things where you can look at this in two different directions. You could, on one hand, say, well, you know, he, okay, yes, he did a good job of beating up on a, uh, you know, right tackle who really isn't a great starting right tackle, whatever. However, I would counter that by saying, again, it's the Super Bowl. It doesn't matter how good your opponent is. You got to find ways to get wins. And especially, in fact, when you look at on paper, hey, there's going to be certain things where you have matchup advantages and disadvantages. When you have a matchup advantage, a matchup advantage, you have to take advantage. You just do. And I also think that him, along with a lot of the other Kansas City players, doing what they did in the running game was definitely a, a huge impact in how the uh, you know Chiefs were able to ultimately win this football game. So, you know, one of the many guys to come through and, and make something happen. And again, uh, he had to come through. Like, they needed to have that as an advantage, and he was. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of good stuff by George Karloftis. It's pretty crazy, right? A guy who you know, literally has been in the league for two years uh, and has won two Super Bowls. I mean, for him, he's got to be thinking like, wow, football is easy. You just win the Super Bowl every year. This is a lot of fun, uh, right? Because, you know, a number of the guys on the, you know, Chiefs have been in kind of in that situation where that's what they uh, do. As in, you know, they, you know, a number of guys were, there's a lot of play, good players who were drafted two years ago that it, part of why they won back to back uh, Super Bowls. Although, let's be honest, if you've been a chief for 10 years, winning three and uh, six is still pretty impressive. Or I guess three and five is pr still pr a lot of fun for them, I'm sure. So, yeah. Uh, really good stuff by Carl Loftus, good stuff by the Chiefs. Uh, that's what I think about all of this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.